What is up, guys? Jim is here. Welcome to another Road to Glory career mode episode with Real Valdolid. Um, I know it's been a while since I uploaded a Real Valdolid episode, but I just had to upload one today. And also, we did have some few issues today with... I had a previous episode recorded for this, episode 7, or episode 6. Episode, no, yeah, episode 6. But the file corrupted, so I, didn't have, I, had, to rec I had to record this one. So I just showed you guys, you see here, we do get um, signed with Northern Ireland as an international management offer. I decided to sign them because I think it would be pretty fun, you know, to like try to bring them to the top of European football. Um, obviously, this will take us a while to get to that point with Northern Ireland, but I feel like we could at least qualify for the chip, for the Euros and the World Cup as well. And this year, I showed the previous games from the last episode, which we got a 2-0 win here against, um, I forgot that team's name. And we got a 3-1 here, win here against Huesca. And we also get a 1-0 loss here to Oviedo as well. You know, it was a pretty good game. And he had a 1-1 draw against uh, CD Lugo. Shout out to Hydrify. And, yeah, so that was what happened in the last episode. And to start today's episode off with, we offer, well, we asked for $2 million from the board. Um, the transfer window is approaching us, and we do want to sign a few players, you know, either on loan or try to buy some players. Um, so, yeah, we did all ask for $2 because we have no money right now at all, pretty much. And also here a training session here, some uh, good progression from the players. And as you see there, they, they did accept us for the, the funds. They gave us 1.50 million. The 1.50 thousand. Yeah, 1.50 million, yeah. But, so, um, yeah, so I mean, it's not, not the greatest amount of money. I was kind of hoping for 2 million, but, I mean, 1.50 is not bad. So, yeah, as you see here, a few players do, we do actually sell. One of the players is Jose. Um, they offer 1 million for him. We asked for 1.2 million because he used to be pretty young, 65 overall, and we'll see what they say. If we do have a game against my Yorker here, which I do sim away from home, you know, it's kind of risky simming it, but I kind of wanted to, you know, get through the transfer window a bit quick. And as you see here, we, we take we took the risk, and we did end up losing 1 0 to my Yorker away from home. And as Manuel Del Moral will be making his way to RC Deportivo, um, and also Andre Leao will make his way to Elche for 925,000. Um, under his evaluation, I decided just to give him, you know, just cause, I mean, he's 30 years old, 70 overall, I'm not really going to use him too much. And this is his replacement, I'm really looking to sign, is Thomas from Atletico Madrid, 22 years old, 72 overall, player from Ghana. Looks really good, you know, really good stats, a really strong central defensive midfielder. And, you know, I really hope to sign him. And as you see, we do get a win here, a 3 0 win against Yagostera, I believe how you pronounce him. And actually, here we also do pick up Deli Alley here on loan for two years. You know, not a bad signing in my opinion for two year loan. Deli Alley is a really good young player, has good potential. We maybe we could possibly sign him in the future. You know, we'll have him this season, and then we'll also have him for a season, oh, like half a season, I believe, or a whole season. And no, we'll have him for two full seasons while we are in La Liga if we do get promoted, which hopefully we do. And as you hear, Thomas does it like I think I'm sure does accept the offer. So we got from 35k a week, four years. Important first thing player. We'll see if he signs. And that was my phone that went off. Um, so yeah, as you see here, we take on I believe it's Cordoba. Yeah, Cordoba here. And uh, first and only played game season. So you see, we're currently in first place, and Cordoba is all the way down 21st. So that's actually kind of surprising to be honest. To see Cordoba all the way down 21st place. But um, yeah, we're really looking to get a win here in this game. A game we should win, as you can tell. I mean, we're in first place, or in 21st. And also, Deli Alley is getting having his debut this game. If he can play well. But the first is to come to Cordoba here, as we almost give away a penalty there. But as they pass the ball into Androne, he is, um, in fact, off sides, but he thought he scored. And we got away with something there. And that was only really highlight of the first half, guys. I mean, not much really happened. It was a really boring first half. And, um, yeah, so we do get the first and second half here to try to play it in there. But a good block by the defender. As Cordoba crosses it in, Ever Balaga misses the ball when he dives for it, and the shot goes harmlessly wide out for a goal kick. And it's 71st minute as Roy Bills just shot get past two defenders, passes it in to Oscar. Oscar takes a shot, Deli Alley tries to control it, but the ball eventually goes out for a corner kick. And the 84th minute here as Mojica sets up for a free kick is a really bad free kick in my opinion. Um, I wish Timor was out there actually, or Tiba, I believe one of them is a free kick taker, has really good free kick stats. But um, yeah, so in the 90th minute there, Cordoba had a good chance to go up 1 0, but a good save by the keeper to keep it 0 0. And off that corner kick, as we do a counter-attack here in the 90th minute, could we get a goal here to go 1-0? Nice pass from Arizabalga to Angelino. Angelino passes to Deli Alley. Alley takes it, gets past one. He looks for a pass, passes to Rubio. Rubio's looking for another pass, passes that wide and near. 
Munoz running and can't even make it one though for us against the one here in the 93rd minute. He gets past one, splits two defenders, takes a shot, and Munir makes it one no for us in the 93rd minute. What a goal by Munir and Haddadi to make it one no for us here. Really good goal, really good team play goal in my opinion. You know, the passing was amazing by us. Um, in my opinion, I feel like we kind of deserved to get the win here in the 90th minute. Uh, we played really well this game, really well defensively, and I was really happy with the finish from Munir. Really happy he did get the winning goal for us as well. And, you know, this is why I really wanted this game to get to win this game to, you know, give us more of a lead in the first place. Because I do really want to get that automatic promotion. And that's how the game went in, guys. 1-0 no win. She has stats there. You know, they have more shots. But, I mean, it's a pretty close game. And, yeah. So, Thomas did not accept the first contract we offered him. So, we do offer another one. 50k a week. Four years. Crucial first team player with the 20% bonus per goal. Hopefully, he does sign. You know, it be really good signing, in my opinion, if we pick him up. And, in fact, he does sign with us. So, our, probably the biggest signing so far this season is Thomas. Uh, really big signing, really good signing in my opinion as well. And yeah, we ended the episode two with guys with a last game here against Numancia. Um, I just had to sit in this game as well, a home game. So we do.